What up, it's your boy T-Bear here with your reaction to King Crush's video. I thought it would be a little, little thing for me, but I still might participate. It's been a while since I did one. This is a Smash Pass video. This, but this is Smash or Pass Challenge with Dark and Ball Super Edition. This is with with uh, Heavenly Controller. So he's missioning to get the ladies of Dragon Ball Super who he will smash or, or pass. So... I will play along too. Now I don't know. I know enough about Dragon Ball Super from like the from like uh, Waka. I watched the first, watched most of it on the dub that up to Tsunami, and I watched some episodes of the sub just for the fight, certain fights like the Jiren Goku fight, and more will be watching it for the Vegeta and Jiren fight. So I see some of the ones they, some of the characters they have on there, and I had also been hearing about them as well from other from people from social media. So. Let's just check out the Smash and Pass Dragon Ball C Dragon Ball Super Edition. Let's go. If you actually achieve the greatest poon in the entire galaxy, then why even bother living anymore? Mm, I like the intro. Mmm, I like this little mix. Hey. Alright, I've been having a lot of requests to make another one of these. The reason why I stopped making Smasher Pass is because the trend came and went. It wasn't relevant anymore. So there's yeah, no I reason guess this to why a lot continue. Have been because back when Smasher Pass was a well. popular topic, I did one on the Dragon Ball Z characters <laughs> and the Naruto characters, and then I stopped after that. Now, not that I wouldn't do a Smasher Pass for real people, and I know that some people might just say, oh, Heavenly's about that 2D over 3D life. I'm but really, piece, honestly, so I'm I know back. that despite me talking about the thick on a 24-hour basis, you wouldn't expect this from me, but I really saw that Smasher Pass game as a sort of way of objectifying people or being very sort of um, two-dimensional, very shallow in terms of your opinions on somebody. Because for me personally, a lot of times you can have, even let's not even talk about the three-dimensional plane, okay? Let's just talk about anime characters. You can have some characters that are fake as fuck in an anime, but they're just such a paper-headed character that is just, no, annoying. I don't fuck with that character. So That's actors, a good to Both on the outside and inside That's a good to before it. we make our decision. So with that being said, so first let's start light. Let's start with Hellas from Dragon Ball Super, one of the god of destruction. I smash just cause. I know what well, a lot of people think heavily, just a smash or pass. We're not out here wiping these hoes, okay? It's not that serious. Why does it matter about their personalities? Well, here's why, okay? While it may not be a commitment for me, she might take it a she might get a mixed message. She might take it a different she way. She smash. I'm smash sorry. Hellas, and you know how she's always talking about love and friendship. You just blink at that bitch because you got something in your eye, and she's like, oh, he winked at me. <laughs> Love at first sight. No, 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 no. You don't want to deal with that shit unless you're care. voluntarily participating. So, no, you smash this bitch once and she is smitten for life. And she's a guy to show you. I'm still smashing. How are you going to get away from her ass? She can just hawkeye you out of existence <laughs> if you get on her bad side. So, I'm still smashing. If you're going to smash a guy to destruction, it has to be worth it because if you don't please them to their fullest, well, you're not getting out of that one. Now, here's one that I get requests for all the time Heavenly, would you smash Vados? Now, yes, yes, I would smash Vados. Now, the reason mm. why I would pick her is where he got it. I personally disagree, but, um, what the hell? Sorry about this, folks. I don't know what's going on, but I personally disagree on that one, though. Um, not sure why it just always just stopped like that. Very weird. But yeah, uh, Vites, that's a wee sister. I totally disagree with that one. Uh, I mean, she's beautiful. She's beautiful, but I got, if I can, if I gotta have one, uh, one uh, pass, I will say pass her, though. I don't know why I just, just did that just now. I do apologize, folks. But yeah, um, let's try this again. If you actually said, if it's worth the risk, then I went. So I'm not really having a problem with that. I'm an angel, okay? Let's go, let's go. The other way around. I might smash her, but her pussy has magical lady bits, and it's just so magnificent that I'm smitten, and I want to <coughs> stay with her forever, and she's like, no, maybe. no. I'm an angel, okay? You only get to smash an angel once. I okay, got maybe, to may I consider a pass to her. The Xenoverse. So it might be the reverse for that one, so I'm not really having a problem with that. And if anything, 
I'm gonna still smash because it's worth the risk. Like I said, if it's worth the risk yeah. from the cons, if uh, the pros outweigh them, then I'll it's worth that. it. But I still think there's some cons that will go with Vados as well. Like I said, I could smash Vados and then suddenly my dick just won't know pleasure anymore. I'm not even be able to get hard at anything anymore because Vados is pussy was so magical, it was so angelic, that now it's like life has no meaning anymore. Nah, I, might, I might suicide myself because life no longer has meaning. It's complete because I've already tasted the greatest that the universe has to offer. What and you, Once you've done that, what's the point of even proceeding? Because you know how it is, the typical human nature is that you're constantly chasing the next big thing. Once you've accomplished one thing, you want the better thing. Well, if you actually achieve the greatest poon in the entire galaxy, then... The greatest poon in the galaxy. <laughs> now, let me precurse this with saying that all the other iterations of Bulma leading up to this point have I'm been sorry. magnificent. I'm sorry. I don't give a damn. Bulma gets smashed. Young Bulma to Milk Bulma is getting smashed. I don't care. Especially with the short hair. Oh my god. She looks so sexy. Time, which is why, which is why, for that exact reason, I'm going to pass. Because I feel like she has been smashed so much she's been beaten tender. That's like buying a used car with 500,000 miles on it. I'm not trying to deal with that, okay? Fuck what he said. Momo getting smashed. That she's a sexy milf now. She was a sexy, yeah, she young girl. She's so sexy, um, thirty year old, whatever she was on Dragon Ball Z. Now she a sexy ass milf. Boma still getting smashed. Don't care. So no, especially oh, since say. who is it? Goku or Vegeta? One of them said that Boma had really saggy tits. Oh yeah, and it's now Goku. I know that from this image and from a lot of the iterations that we see of her in the show, it doesn't look like that. But what you have to understand is girls are really good at hiding and masking and disguising and re I don't give a damn what titties say. One of them saggy tits all on my face. <laughs> Anyway, shaping for the general. Hey, still public. big. Okay, she could have tape under her nipples. She could have all types tape of shit to nipples. make it look plump when she's wearing all of her clothing. But then you get her in the sack, and then you find out them shits droop down her kneecaps. So I'd rather pass on that one. I'd rather not take the risk, okay? Because she's got a lot of mileage. I don't her, agree. I'm great. smashing it's fine. You know, it's Some wisdom that is acquired with that. But in this scenario. I'm gonna let it slide. She, she's, she's lived her greatness. She's done a lot. I don't feel like that I need to smash her. Small good. <laughs> enough for her to do her due diligence. I don't have to participate in that. And I appreciate what she's provided for everyone's dicks over the course of her existence. That's fine. <laughs> That's like said, her legacy bro. will not die. But <laughs> oh, like said Bulma, that. in terms of the smash category, is retired. Okay, I'm kind of cheating with this one because I know this isn't in Dragon Ball Super, but I have to throw it in there. Android 21. Yes. Got a smash. 100%. Yes. <laughs> I was it, hoping he did. Oh my god, yes. I was hoping he threw it. Android 21. 21. Oh my god. Yo. Let me get, let me, let me get some real quick. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Yo, 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 Android 22, mm, 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 that's my boo right here, sorry, that's my boo right here, that is my boo, you see, oh my god, Android 2021, 20, I think her name is, yes, and then shout out to the lovely Lady, F Lady Fiona, Lola Fiona, see that right there, Android 21, Whew. That gotta be the sexiest anime character, one day sex anime ever out right now. But let's keep it going. You already know why. The bitch has a lab coat and glasses, so you know she's smart as fuck. So you know she's got a lot of experience in multiple different assets and categories. So we're not even gonna have to argue against that aspect of it. Mm -hmm. And just, she's a robot. She's never getting exhausted. Much like with Android 18, True. she's got unlimited stamina. You can't even detect her power level. Bro, that's not even under dispute. And speaking of Android 18, of course, of course, we all just match Android 18. Oh, yeah, now, Android, I yeah, do throw it in and smash. That if Might I have as well. 18 and 21, I'm sorry. Uh, 21. The, the new comes in out with the old. 21 the is new, definitely in between. Over 18. But yeah. we're not talking about having to choose between two. We're talking about in each individual scenario, would we pick that character over picking nobody? So in that case, 
Yes, I mean, come on, 18 has been the Dragon Ball waifu for generations. And unlike with Bulma, how she has mileage over time and how she becomes to wear and tear as time progresses, 18, as I said, is an android, so she stays fresh. She stays 100 she stays fresh. <laughs> mint condition for all time. So I don't feel like she's ever going to move into the past category because since she's not a human like Bulma, you can't really wear and tear her. And if for whatever reason she does get a little rusty, take her to the body shop and have her fixed right up. Up, and then she's back to brand new again. So, mm -hmm. 18 is smashed till the end of time, as far as I'm concerned, unless <laughs> new information starts mm -hmm. to arise. Then we have Khalifla. Now, a lot now of people hate on Khalifla me. because they say she's a Mary Sue character, but I think the reason why people don't like her being a Mary Sue in battle is because they feel like it undermines. Yeah, I don't know too much about the people saying as personality wise, but, but if you had. If people say, yes. Khalifla. You will be grateful that she's a Mary Sue because the whole thing about a Mary Sue, for those of you who don't know, is that they're just good at everything. Everything just comes naturally to them. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you complain about it until the shoes are on your feet. Let's get to oh, another one. That sounds like a match made in heaven, if you ask me. Now, Kale. Ooh, this is probably the toughest one. And the reason why I say that is because Kale is like a it. double edged was... sword. Because in her base form, she's delicious. And even in her she transformation, oh. where she's controlled then she's also delicious. But the thing is, is that Kale does not have full control of her berserker. I just realized that so here they go with the damn vegetable food names of these characters, man. Go the Dragon Ball City State name any characters out of food. Kale, really? What was the <laughs> really? What's the other girl name again? Hold up. And starts to arise. Then we have Khalifla. Now, Khalifa, okay, but Kale, really? She's delicious. And even in her transformation, where she's controlled, then she's also delicious. But the thing is, is that Kale does not have full control of her berserker transformation, Ooh. okay? That is not a risk that I want to take. I like my penis. I'd rather not lose it. And we all know <laughs> okay, then that I I think I'm, I'm going to take his word for it and agree with that and emotion. pass on that. Rage, but as we've seen in the anime, it could be other emotions as well. So you're smashing, right? And then she just berserk transforms. And then she grabs the dick with both hands and she breaks it in half. Oh, no. Nah, I'm good. I'm like good. I said, there are pros. Do not get it twisted. But do the pros outweigh the cons? On one hand, you get to pulverize the put. I understand. But then on the <laughs> other hand, your dick is pulverized. Yes. Do uh, I even need to one. go into further detail now? I think you see where I'm coming from here. I think we're both on the same page. We can move on. Okay. And then for the final one, the final character in Dragon Ball Super that I would say is relevant enough to mention is Kefla, of course. Kefla. Now, Kefla is, as you know, being mm. the fusion, a combination of Kale and a combination of. Oh. Now, the greatest thing about a fusion they're, they're the they fuse. is okay. that it takes the pros from both characters and drops the cons. And I'd like to say that Kefla does that pretty well because. The fact that Khalifa is a Mary Sue <laughs> character, Khalifa picks up on that aspect as well. And then you have the sort of raw power from Kale that is picked up as well, but with the exception that Kefla has more control over it. So it's basically, I would say Kefla is a way to smash Kale without the cons in the terms that she's not going to turn into a I will take it. it. I'll smash. So I would smash Kefla, yes, yes. And once again, I would bring apart the same argument that I brought with Khalifa. Even if you don't like Kefla, you don't like her in a battle. But on this dick is a whole nother story. You want her to be OP on the dick. You want her to be a Mary Sue OP on the, on the dick. dick. I've already laid out this argument, so I don't need to elaborate a second time. So, <laughs> yes. Smash, smash, smash. Hulk smash. Cable's ass. Smash. Now, what I'd like to know is who you guys would smash out of the dick. All right, so that's that. So this was really good, though, man. Pretty long, but pretty good, though. Now, there was some good cat, but I don't. Oh my god, I'm so glad he brought up Android 21. Oh my god. I glad he included on there. You know, I will smash that. If I, that's one anime character. I'm, mm, man, I'm. Mm. Well, other than that, this is good, good fun right here. He has some points right there. Disagree with Fury was agree. I definitely disagree with the whole Boma thing. I don't give a damn. Boma's my boo. That is, that's been my baby since day one. Blue hair and actually looking real sexy as a milf now. Ugh. Anyway, if you like Marvel Yashin, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's your boy T-Bird signing off. One love.